So the question is, are Windows updates really so important that they should interrupt you in the middle of an all-night study session or a hot webcam date? At what point does Mr. Gates just show up at your doorbell and go, hey, have you updated your Windows yet? Well, whether we like it or not, that's basically been Microsoft's approach for a very long time. In fact, it was way back during the Windows 98 era that Microsoft first introduced the concept of notifications whenever a critical update was available by having the operating system check which updates were already installed against a list of new updates stored on a Microsoft server every few minutes. And what a useful new feature to ensure that, you know, grandma isn't going to be victimized by the latest ActiveX vulnerability. The problem is that as the years went on, more and more control was taken out of the hands of the user. Once Windows XP hit the scene, update notifications became much more frequent, especially that system reboot prompt after you installed the update that would bother you literally every 10 minutes to restart. Not to mention that the automatic update service was a massive resource hog for some reason and often ground slower computers to a standstill. So Microsoft did relax this hit you over the head naggy behavior in subsequent versions of Windows and they fixed some of the performance issues, but it's still quite difficult to exercise full control over Windows Update, a huge source of frustration, especially if you have a slower PC or one that you only use occasionally so that basically every time you sit down at it, it needs to perform a bloody update. I mean, imagine this. What if I just don't want to be interrupted right now because I'm doing something? Well, in Windows 7 and 8, you can delay an automatic reboot, but only for four hours and three days respectively. And then in Windows 10, you actually can't decline updates of any sort now, even patches that are considered non-critical. Now, if you're running a business version of Windows 10, you are allowed to delay your updates. There's just no such luxury for the average Joe or Jane running Windows on his or her home computer. So why has Microsoft insisted on making the process so overbearing? I mean, do they think that we're all a bunch of idiots that can't maintain our PCs on our own? You know what, let's not get into that. M moving on then, one of the most obvious reasons that updates are continually pushed out is to improve security. Although many folks wonder why Microsoft can't just make a secure piece of software in the first place, and at times this has been a valid criticism, the fact of the matter is that with an operating system as large and complex as Windows, there are many points of failure that the developers might not even know about that can get discovered by hackers later on. I mean, you think about how a commercial airplane has lots of redundant safety systems because there are so many critical parts that could potentially have an issue that develops down the road even if the aircraft was initially well designed. So it's kind of like that. And in fact, Microsoft even offers cash bounties for folks that are skilled enough to find and report security holes in Windows before the hackers do so that they can push out a fix. The fact that this is one of the very rare examples where Microsoft actually pays their users and not the other way around shows what a big deal patching security bugs is to Microsoft. But even so, this doesn't quite explain why all of the updates, rather than just the security fixes, are treated as mandatory in Windows 10. Well, here's where we get into the big mentality shift. It's a business decision. Microsoft treats Windows as a service now, meaning that with rising internet speeds and reliance on cloud computing, the company wants to ensure their place as the dominant platform by delivering significant upgrades in order to keep up with advancing technology and consumers who frequently buy new devices. So you combine that with the fact that users have gotten used to their mobile devices following this similar paradigm of free updates, and Microsoft even went as far as to describe Windows 10 as the last version of Windows, in that it'll just be continually updated rather than replaced by another version that you'll have to pay to upgrade to down the line. So, to ensure that users aren't getting left behind with this new business model, plus their desire to make writing software easier for developers than it used to be back when Windows versions were much more fragmented, Microsoft has gone the route of making Windows 10 updates mandatory across the board. 
So, like, I get it. It's just that this can be a huge problem when Microsoft forces users to install buggy updates, like that one that deleted a bunch of people's data. For better or for worse, though, it looks like this automatic, mandatory version of Windows Update is here to stay. That is, unless, of course, you switch to Linux. Speaking of switching, have you thought about switching your accounting solution? FreshBooks is the super simple to use invoicing tool that actually does a lot more than just help you create and send slick looking invoices. It helps you track your time with their timesheet function, manage your expenses, and keep track of who owes you what. It also has a feature that tells you when your client looks at your invoice for the first time, and their mobile apps have all the functionality of the desktop version, so you can take FreshBooks with you wherever you go. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to their support staff where you will speak to a real human being. No phone tree, no escalations, just answers. And I mean, I guess that's all there is to say. Try it out. It costs absolutely nothing. Go to freshbooks.com slash techwiki and then enter techwiki in the how did you hear about us section when you sign up for that free trial. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other videos. Don't forget to leave a comment with video suggestions so you could maybe see your idea in a future fast as possible. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss your idea in a future fast as possible.